When I was in the sixth grade, the teacher made all the students in the class stand up and say what they wanted to be when they grew up. So everybody got up and said doctor, lawyer, teacher, accountant, pastor. And when they got to me, I stood up, my chest sticking out, and I said I wanted to be a yellow school bus driver or an artist. My teacher interrupted them while they were laughing and said, being a yellow school bus driver is an honorable job, which confused me even further because she never even ever acknowledged the fact of what an artist represented. I am a second generation artist and my son will be the third generation artist. My father was uh, a teenage parent and he basically gave up his dreams of being an artist to take care of me. The nickname Poncho came from an old TV show from the 1960s called The Cisco Kid. And he had a drunk sidekick named Poncho, which my dad thought would be cute to name me Poncho. And because I was a junior, I decided to use Poncho to separate me from him and the name just stuck. Um, my dad used to paint around the house. So for me, watching him as a child, I wanted to imitate everything my father was doing. So I think I, it was one of the few things I knew I could do because there were a lot of things I realized quickly that I could not do. He was always one of my uh, silent friends. My mother has always been the typical mother, very, very supportive. My father was a frustrated artist, so because he had no outlets in the 60s as an artist, he attempted to try to trick me away from it. It, it wasn't the kind of support you would think. Like my dream was always that my dad would take my hand and draw a circle with me and it never happened. He just had a, another focus. Any work that anybody gives me, I don't have the luxury of turning away. Uh, I think an artist is visionary. An artist should be able to depict whatever is brought to him. I've never rejected any work. And I don't think any artist coming along in this day and age has the luxury of doing that. Because I always recognize that I'm an artist, it's not something that I can turn on and off. I think that was probably the earliest lesson I learned as a professional artist is that it was an innate part of my being. It's not something that's an extension of me that I can do or not do. And I think that's something that a lot of artists struggle with. The ones that committed to their being, they do a lot more work than the ones that think it's something they can do or not do. So um, I don't have to work hard to stay stimulated. Uh, I have moments when I feel like painting and moments when I don't. I think all artists have a creative cycle. I think that artists need to sit down and figure out what that cycle is so that you can better maximize your productivity. Be prolific, man. Have so much work that they'll have some work to do to copy your work. I look at creativity as a complete circle, you know, and most artists are only using half of that circle. When you're creating work and you're keeping it to yourself, that's half the circle. But when you use the other half, you're starting to share it with other people. You're selling it to other people. You're exposing it to other people. And that, that's, that's what the whole creative cycle is. Because once you use the whole cycle, it kind of feeds it, you know. That's where you get stagnant when you're creating it for yourself. But if you're, if you're releasing it and you're sharing it, then you're clearing the slate, you're clearing your mind, and you, you'll probably sustain yourself for the rest of your life. Collectors can't validate you. You have to validate you. And with all the things we got available, we got websites now, we got social network, we got Instagram, we got PayPal, we got the Square, we got all these things at our fingertips right now to sell whatever you decide you want to sell. Well, for me, I've only survived off of my art since I was 14 years old. And if a black kid like me in Baltimore City can survive doing art for 36 years, then anybody can. It's that simple. As an African-American artist, yeah, it's tough. Nobody cares about us, you know? But those people don't rule my life. They don't make decisions for whether I can succeed or can't succeed. Sure, I know museums are not going to recognize my work. They're not recognizing the dead legends that are alive now. I'll be dead with flowers growing out of my chest before that changes. Does that stop me from making a living doing my art? No. I'll tell you my most famous quote. I'd rather be in 500,000 homes than one museum. And my work is in 350,000 homes right now. I'm Larry Poncho Brown, and I have a passion for art.